So in the next uh, around uh, 50 minutes, 55 minutes, I will quickly show you the remotely controlled airships which have been developed by other students like you. As I mentioned, it will be only indoor airships. The first indoor airship that we built was way back in 2004. It was just a small airship uh, of an oblate spheroid shape built by some interns uh, who had come to our lab. I hope the video is visible. Is the video visible? Is the video visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's visible. Okay, yes, sir. sir. So the interesting thing here is that this young lady that you see in the extreme right, uh, she is now a faculty member at a university in USA. At that time, she was a second year undergraduate uh, student from College of Engineering, Pune in the year 2004. And now she is a member of faculty in uh, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in USA. You can see that the airship is blown by remote control. This demonstration was taking place. Bring it down. So then, uh, <clears throat> these students and another couple of students, they came for further internship in our laboratory. What you are seeing is the structures laboratory of IIT Bombay Aerospace Department. And uh, these guys are flying a small airship called as a capsule airship. Just because of the shape of the envelope. It's like a flying capsule. So two hemispherical edges and a central cylindrical body. Then some other students came and they built this small indoor airship. Right now it is statically heavy, so it's coming down. And they are trying to desperately give it more lift by giving vertical thrust. So that's why we need a vertical motor so that if you are falling down, you can give it a higher thrust. In the year 2000 and 2011, I had the chance to visit a university in USA by the name Texas A&M University. So there, I spent about seven weeks. And in those seven weeks, I actually got this small airship fabricated through the, there were three students of the university. So let me show you a small video of this blimp. So it's coming from a small classroom into the fire. The one in the front is uh, one of the faculty members of the university. The student with the black t-shirt and the white half pant is the person to do this airship. The lady on the back is his mother. The pilot's mother has come to see. This is the second student.
कि हाउ इट डिक्स डिक्स आउ वर्टिकली बिकॉज द इंजन वॉज स्वेवेलेबल Clears the air cage. The engine is moved forward. So, if you have any questions, you can interrupt me and ask me. Then, within IIT Bombay, we built a small airship in 2013. This is that famous Black Beauty airship about which Pohan spoke to you. We have this machine in the laboratory where we can join this fabric and create the envelope. Okay, this is the photograph of the envelope when ready, and this is the lift test. So, you can see that this envelope can lift. Around one kilogram of force. The reading is one kilogram, so it gives a net thrust of one kilogram. Now you have to put the gondola, the motors, the fins, the battery, everything within one kilogram. If something is remaining, then you can add some payload to it. Okay. So these are the specifications of the semi-outdoor airship. Maybe I can show you one flight. So we we call it semi outdoor because we are flying it in uh, below the canopy of the Victor Menendez Convention Center. So it's open on three sides, and one side is a wall. That's why it's called as semi outdoor. Okay. Same airship, indoor flight. This I've already shown you. Then we also took it into a pure outdoor flight. But just see how much you have to run behind the airship. When you take a small airship in the outdoor, and if it is windy, then it becomes very difficult to control. Just see. Just see how the engineers who designed it are running on the ground. We have we have uh, tied it with two cables, okay, and we have to constantly run around because we just cannot allow it to go out of control. This one is a proper outdoor airship, and this one there is no problem; it can handle. You are able to see, right? Yes, sir. So here you will see a team of six, seven engineers, including one from Brazil who came and flew the airship for us. So our airship pilot is the Brazilian, and what we have done is we have put a camera on the airship, and that camera is giving the imagery that you are seeing. This one, of course, is on the ground. so we are doing the initial flight just to check the capability of the airship and how much it can go against the wind and then once we got an idea that the airship is flying quite stably then we took the challenge of making it fly above iit bombay campus 
So what you see below is the campus. You see the beautiful Pawai Lake, which is part of our campus. And the solar panels on the bottom are those of hostel number eight, one of the hostels in IIT Bombay. Hostel number eight and hostel number 11. This is the airship from the ground shot by one of the mobile phone cameras. This is IIT Bombay by air. You can now see the Pawai Vihar Lake also. The video is visible, right? Yes, yes sir. sir. So this small rope that you see on the side is not connected to the ground. This rope is a free-flying handling rope. It's about six meters in length. Six feet in length, actually. And this is the, another trial when you are bringing it down. Okay. So this is the biggest outdoor airship that we have built so far in the year 2013. Then another student came for internship and he has uh, done this thrust vectoring mechanism. This was his BTEC project in our department. So he designed a the system to give thrust vectoring. So that with a lightweight gondola, we can obtain the thrust. Simple swirling mechanism. This already so on has shown you. We also make uh, interesting airships which try to mimic the biological systems. So it's called a biomimetic airship. So what does this airship look like? Fish. Sir. Which fish do you know? Which fish? Can you name the fish shape? Goldfish. Sorry, I could not hear. No, I can't hear, unfortunately. Anyway, this is basically the trout, rainbow trout fish. So you see now what happens. This is a flying fish within the lab first. So we are doing some trials in the lab. So there is no engine in this. There is no propulsion system. The fish is generating lift only by flapping of the tail. Okay, then uh, interestingly, there was one, one research intern in our laboratory and uh, subsequently he became a member of faculty in a college, local college. And then he came to the lab along with his students and the students built this airship. This is the Anjuman Islam Kasko Technical Complex or AIKTC Dream. We are trying it in the fire of our lecture hall complex in IIT Bombay. You can see that there is no need to give continuous thrust because due to inertia, the airship will keep flying. 
So only we give trust, only when we have to turn. Otherwise, my energy also it goes by the good by the good distance. Because of the airship length, there is a restriction. We have to ensure that we fly less. Then, uh, a student also built a semi-rigid finless airship. This one will not have. You can see this is uh, going to be a semi-rigid airship. I mean, there is going to be structure and enveloping. No fins are needed. Because the engines are mounted on the side. This was an MTech project of a student who was working in our lab from Somaya uh, College, Mumbai. Okay, now I want to show you a video of our indoor autonomous blimp. Or autonomous airship, it will also show you. This is the LTA system laboratory. Filling of the envelope using the cylinder of helium gas. There is a lab next door which works on combustion. So you will see a lot of people crossing and some of them will be curious to know what is happening. So they will come and see. They will come and ask. Yeah, now trying to balance. Now it is fully balanced. This airship is now flying without any control. It's flying autonomously. Nobody is flying this airship. It automatically detects the presence of obstacle and turns using a proximity sensor. Okay, let's go ahead. There is one more very interesting video. You can see now how the airship automatically flies without anybody controlling it. And finally it goes to the person who had commanded it. Next is another airship that was built uh, with students in Singapore. When I went to Singapore for one year, I got a chance to work with the school students in Singapore, a school called as School of Science and Technology or SST. This is the airship that was built. And look at the video.
so by this time you all know that there is a motor on the rear pin or side course and you can see now two school children from class 7th and 8th flying this airship using their mobile phone as a controller so this is a smartphone controlled airship it can be commanded using a smartphone So these are the petals which Swan had told you. There are six petals in this case. Each petal is of a different uh, shape. This is a 3D printed uh, gondola. Can you see the gondola, please? Yes, sir. Yeah, so you see the, uh, the student has made the gondola using Perspex, which was cut in 3D printer and uh, installed all the electronics at various locations and there are two motors one is the vertical motor this is upside down so one is the vertical motor one is the forward motor with the propeller mounted so there are three motors which are controlling we give the current to them through the electronic speed controller and there is a arduino which commands these three motors and the Arduino gets signal from a Raspberry Pi wirelessly. And the Raspberry Pi is controlled, not wirelessly, sorry, Raspberry Pi directly connected to the Arduino. And uh, the Raspberry Pi connects with the touch operated mobile phone device wirelessly. Okay. Any questions here on how it is done? Or is it clear? It is clear, sir. Okay, so you will see, you will see me talking to the student who actually did all this fabrication. This is the testing of the system in the laboratory. This is the trial flight in the corridor. So we are flying the blimp in the corridor. And then there is a smartphone operated out of stabilized blimp which Sohan has made as part of his research project. This is also a small indoor air. That's it. That's all I had to show you about the indoor airships. Now I'm open to any questions or any queries that you may have. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Virat Solanki here. 
सर आई हैव अ डाउट सर एज वी आर फ्लाइंग द सिस्टम सो वंस द एंड्यूर एंड्यूरेंस इज फॉर द इलेक्ट्रिकल सिस्टम व्हिच द मोटर्स हैव बीन रनिंग ओवर सो हाउ आर वी गोइंग टू लैंड लैंड द सिस्टम हाउ आर वी गोइंग टू लैंड द सिस्टम यस सर सो बिकॉज़ इट हैज बीन फ्लाइंग विद द बायोंसे फोर्स या so we always make the airships slightly heavier than uh, you know heavier than air and um, there is a vertical motor which tries to fight the gravity if there is a problem because of gravity i mean if it can coming down so normally an airship will automatically come down slowly and you can control the descent by using the vertical motor and then when it comes just near the ground we just ask people to go and slowly grab it and bring it down roughly okay sir okay thank you any more questions see the questions basically are going to help us to understand what you are interested in how much you have picked up if you don't ask questions then we don't know all these things so we are worried now uh, sir uh, there was this uh, white airship uh, what was the material used for the envelope part sir pu coated nylon this one uh, no sir uh, then it was transparent i'm not transparent sir sir uh, which was used in uh, singapore that is ha huh, that was pu coated that is also pu with this one na this is yes sir this is basically uh, pvc with pu coating and sir your what material is used for fins fins uh, basically these are called as some hard boards they are very light but reasonably hard but easy to cut they are like thermocol but it is uh, so is it foam board foam board yeah foam board not hard board but foam board okay Correct. so it is foam board as you have noticed there is no need to make very aerodynamically smooth uh, fins you can just uh, have flat plates because their main working is happening through the moments the distance is what gives them a moment even if there is a small lift force okay what else uh sir can you tell this uh, what are the ropes lying over the envelope the ropes are basically called as handling lines so what happens is because it is a buoyant system it tends to keep going up so if you don't uh, hold it and if there is a slight uh, imbalance in the density it may just go to the ceiling then how do you how do you reach it so we yes so we have attached these small ropes uh, handling lines just so we can reach it. uh and sir while fabricating an um, uh air ship or a blimp uh we we are attaching this fin the uh, fins for the uh, controlling of the air ship so sir uh, how are going to how are they going to be in the position as they are no i'm not understanding the question the question is about fins is it yes yeah, sir it is uh, about fins being uh, uh, like uh, completely rigid with the system uh because the envelope is a lightweight material is it is a kind of a cloth yeah so uh, how the fins are uh, at one fixed position it is not bending over or anything because we are using cables at the front and the back so it's not very clear because the cable also is white color and the roof is white color okay okay yeah but if you look at where i'm standing just above my hand you can see there is a cable going like this yes sir yes sir from this hook to this one then there is one cable from this hook right up to this nose this leading edge 
So there is one cable here, there is one cable here, there is one cable here, and there is one cable here. So there are four cables. This was shown by Manas in the. Uh, you can see here now. Cables. These fins. The vertical member are the fins. This is a fin. From the envelope, there are cables which come like that. Yes, sir. Which which which, which uh, makes fixes it. So it can't go left. You can see here in the. You can see it here very carefully. Very clearly, you can see here. Similarly, in this figure, you can see from the envelope to the body, from from the fin to the envelope, from the fin to the envelope. Yes, sir. That's Thank you, sir. Any more questions? Or any queries regarding airships? So, how to find endurance? Because in aircraft case, we have a formula. How to find what? Endurance. Endurance. So, in case of airship, also we have a formula, but it's very simple. You just have to calculate how much is the battery consumed, and from the battery capacity, you get automatically endurance. So if you know the current which is being consumed, so this calculation we will do tomorrow. Tomorrow we will be doing the calculations from starting to end for a small indoor remotely controlled airship using the two presentations given by Nauman Uddin and Kiran, sorry, and by Sohan Sovarna. These two PPTs you saw, one before lunch, one after lunch. This whole procedure we are going to implement and do calculations. So each one of you individually at your home, you should have a notebook containing some few pages and you have to do the calculations with me using your calculator and we will show the answers to you. But those who don't submit the full calculations, they will be considered to be absent for this seminar. Okay, sir. So, Yes, any other question? No, sir. Anybody else apart from you? No, sir. Okay, so don't limit your questions only to what you saw. You can also ask questions on uh, other queries that you may have regarding airships. So with the help of the panels only we can stabilize the airship? Don't call them panels, they are called as fins. Yes, they have been sized in such a way that even if both the fins are failing, it will be possible to do something. Okay, sir. Yeah, to save the life of others. Any other questions anybody has or else I'll stop the presentation.